launching into electrostatics, we are concerned with this attractive or repulsive force that's somehow related to this quantity called charge. And usually we denote charge with the letter Q. Um, in physics, we often measure charge in terms of coulombs. Uh, unit is C for coulombs. But the Coulomb is defined quite a long time ago, and it has something based on current, which we'll be talking about in a couple chapters down the road. But as you may be aware, charges in most things you interact with are carried in the electrons or the proton that are making up part of that particular body. And so it's also very natural to describe the amount charged based on the number of electrons, the number of protons, etc. So this question mainly just shows you how to relate the units of coulombs with the units of number of electrons. The conversion factor is that every single electron, and that's my sign for electron E with a little minus charge on top, has a charge of negative 1.062 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. Very, very small charge, as you could imagine, because there are lots and lots of atoms and electrons to make up a visible charge. So there's a conversion factor that we can use to convert this thing. Now this question also talks about another key idea where most things in life that you touch are, are pretty much neutral, even though they have a lot of protons and also a lot of electrons in them. And now they're neutral because they're perfectly paired. For every one proton, there's an electron, so a plus charge and a minus charge, they cancel out. When you actually have a net charge, it is a result of an imbalance. So here's an extra electron that will give you the net charge. So this has to proceed in two steps. So first, based on the net charge, we can find out how many extra electrons there are. It's equal to a net charge of negative five nanocoulombs, nano being 10 to the minus nine, of course, this is nano coulombs. And we multiply by the conversion factor of every electron is 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. Coulombs cancel out, you're left with number of electrons. And also we pick the right sign. So we have 3.12 times 10 to the 10 numbers of electrons. Now. That's just the extra electron, but they want to know the total number of electrons. As you can imagine, the total number of electrons would be whatever you have extra plus all these other ones that are paired up with the protons perfectly. So for every one proton, there's an electron to match it up, to make it neutral. And then we add on top the extra. The total number of electrons, there's no fancy symbols or anything at this point, it's equal to the number of protons plus the number of extra electrons then. There's one electron for every proton here and then all these extra that we just calculated. Calculation wise, not so bad. One last little addition. Keep in mind that there are quite a number of sig figs here so that it does allow us to take lots and lots of digits. From here, before we add them up, just in terms of sig figs, let's line them up so it changes to 10 to the 12, which makes the number smaller. So we're gonna move the decimal place for one, two, giving us two, one, oh, nine. And so we can keep four decimal place. So one, two, three, four, squeezing it down here, resulting in 1.0312 times 10 to the 12 electrons in total. As you can imagine, anytime we talk about microscopic art, particles like atoms, electrons, protons, the number tends to get quite high, but that's just math. So the main thing is this conversion factor um, for the proton, of course, is going to be plus, And this is basically the fundamental elementary charge, as people might say.